I'm here at Glenn Research Center in the Telescience Support Center with Kevin McPherson. He is the manager for the ISS payloads here at Glenn for the space station. And Kevin, first of all, tell us where we are and what happens here in the Telescience Center. Yeah, this is the uh, what we call the NASA Glenn ISS Payload Operations Center, or the Telescience Support Center for short. Um, what we do here and have done here since uh, really the mid-1990s is support uh, remote science investigations initially on the space shuttle uh, when they had dedicated microgravity space shuttle missions for two weeks, 16 days at a time. And then after uh, they stopped having those, uh, those dedicated missions uh, and started transitioning into plans for space station, then we picked up with space station operations in, starting in 2001. So we've had equipment running here, experiments running here since uh, the arrival of the U.S. lab on the space station all the way back in April of 2001. So the Glenn payloads that are on station they each have little workstations here, right? right? Where, where are we? We're in one right now. We are in the, 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 the flight operations area for the combustion integrated rack. That's one of the two uh, facility class racks that the, uh, that the center has, uh, has built and flown to the space station. The other one being the fluids integrated rack. Uh, NASA Glenn has uh, responsibility agency-wide for research in microgravity combustion and microgravity fluid physics. Uh, and what these racks do is they provide a generic capability for conducting experiments in combustion or in, uh, in fluids investigations. Uh, they provide a generic capability and then there's specific hardware that goes into the racks that helps control uh, what the specific experiment is, uh, is trying to accomplish. Other than those <coughs> Earth observations, those are some of the coolest pictures and videos that we get from the space station, the combustion, the fires, the fluids. Yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting that there you know these you look on a on a screen and it looks like it's a you know the size of a of a beach ball some of these uh, combustion events but what they're actually doing is is burning anywhere from two to five millimeter uh, sized droplets of fuel uh, and again the generic capability that the rack provides provides a way to image that with a variety of cameras to study different parts of the the flame phenomena that the scientists are interested in so they uh, with these these small droplets burning them, they can, they can learn a lot about uh, how things burn, limits of, uh, of uh, combustion, things like that. So how does the telescience part of this work? Okay, so the data comes back to Marshall? To, does it go to several ground stations or it comes straight here? No, it's a, it's a crazy, uh, complicated <laughs> process, as you might expect. Uh, it goes from the space station to the TDRS satellite to White Sands to Johnson to Marshall. Uh, to hear, we don't do much direct dissemination out of here to, to the PIs other than the processed uh, data once it gets here. That's kind of the end point for, for our combustion or our fluids uh, investigations, and that's what we do there. Just another place where we're making science happen. Just another place, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome Some of the uh, to have a chance to talk to the, to the science teams and, and, and interact with them, and, and you see the enthusiasm that they have about what they're trying to accomplish. And when you see a good uh, combustion test point go off, that they're, they're really excited because they, they, you know, they think they can uh, glean some good information out of, out of, that, uh, out of that test point. So it's, it's good right. for us to get that connection to the, uh, to the science folks. All right, we look forward to a lot more information coming out of here. Thank sure. you, Kevin. Okay, you're welcome.